People. Um, there are many collaborative uh, art making on the internet nowadays. How is digital storytelling, or do you think digital storytelling is part of uh, this movement? Well, I mean, I think our work starts with the idea of individual authorship. So in that sense, when people collaborate, where the author is centered is a little bit complicated. And so we're not naturally kind of mm. encouraging multi-voice perspective. But having said that, there are many different kinds of ways that people are sampling. Even the piece I showed today, which was mm. a sample of voices out of the Wall Street, Occupy Wall Street movement, there are d different ways that all of us are learning a tool set where we can mm. do rapid mashups or collaborative projects. Because once you learn these tools, they're part of that mixed culture. And, right. and with youth, I think, in particular, the idea of the way people's stories respond to other stories. I heard your story, let me tell you my mm. story. That idea of kind of making a larger document out of a bunch of little stories is something that we'll see more of. Mm. And, and certainly the mashup culture uh, or the, the uh, jamming culture or the, the mixing culture or whatever it's called, uh, those are all places where um, voice is mm. critical and learning how to tell you're a part of the story is also critical. So mm -hmm. uh, again, I think we, we've learned a lot from, from the history of, mm -hmm. of hip hop poetry and slam right. poetry, et cetera, et cetera. How do you see yourself and digital storytelling in five years and where would you like it to be? Well, I mean, I, I think what we're going to see is that the computing platforms that we've been using are going to change. Uh, dramatically, I think the tablet system and the, the, whether it's an iPad or some sort of droid pet mm. tablet or whatever, these will become the mixing stations that people kind of have with them a little bit more often. I think that mobility factor changes a lot of the way we see these mm. processes. I've been moving a lot of our workshops outdoors into cities and mm -hmm. uh, out of little rooms mm. and trying to integrate the work that we're doing in a public way in new ways. I also just generally think that the kind of movement that we represent will have a much more um, clear connection to the big issues of change mm. in our society. In some ways you think of this as a meditation process or a mm. reflection process and that seems like a retreat from the public space. Mm. I think when we look at the um, nature of our work that it seems more private it's obviously about kind of self-reflection that that steps outside the public sphere and how your personal story links to the big story but i think we'll see that happening much more clearly where the stories of people's desperation because of the changes in their lives and the disruptions in their lives because of economics or politics or mobility all of those things will become much mm -hmm. more clear parts of the digital storytelling narrative and I, and I look forward to that because mm -hmm. I think we have to help the change, not just right. step outside the change. Mm -hmm.